good angle. Good morning. It's been really hard to get out of bed lately. I'm just so tired. For a while there, I was getting up consistently at 6.30, getting to work at 8, getting to leave work at 4. It was amazing. Now my alarm goes off at 7 and I just like can't, can't get up. I've been really enjoying wearing my Chance by Chanel. It smells so good. I've had this perfume for a really, really, really long time. Um, and my current favorite was Margiela by The Fireplace. I think it's perfect for fall, but this just smells so like bright and fresh and clean and I'm really into it right now. Okay, so this is the outfit. Got the express pants again. This little old navy cardigan. Um, just my black coat. And I think we're doing the vans today. I think that's pretty fun, I guess. That's the outfit. I decided to stop by my favorite coffee shop this morning. Get a chai. I really wanted a chai. I used to go to this coffee shop literally every Tuesday um, and I just decided that maybe I should not spend that much money on coffee every week um, but I love it it's my favorite coffee shop in town and you know what I am gonna gatekeep it I am um, it's not like it's not already popular but I love it Tuesday was my favorite day to go because I would go in really early so it was like before the work rush um, and my favorite baristas were there and they were always so nice to me but they weren't there today this was a bummer i don't know like they're my favorite baristas because they're just so nice and like everyone else is just kind of like doing their job but they're like i don't know they make you feel like part of the community which i love we we're home, we're showered. I'm about to go make myself a dinner. Um, Pilates was good. It was difficult, but not because it was actually difficult. It was because I'm just really unfit. Like I remember doing the footwork and bridges and it being a piece of cake, I was like, wow, this must be like, I don't know, I guess I was just like, this is the easy part, whatever, like, like if I would have done the class I did today when I was doing Pilates consistently, I would have been like, that was an easy class. Good job. Um, no, the footwork and the bridges got me. That's literally the warm up. It, it was bad, but it's fine. Um, I do realize that like my hips are very like, my hips, my legs in general, they're very tight. So I might have to supplement with like some yoga because um, they are prone to cramping very easily, very quickly. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. I'm excited to continue. Hopefully I get stronger because it was a little embarrassing today. took my car to the car wash so I'm getting a sonic as a treat. I have to treat myself, that's the only way I can like get myself to do things is I have to bribe myself. It's just a little pre-dinner snack, no big deal, no big deal. Sonic haul, <laughs> I got a small hot fudge milkshake, even though it's cold, don't care. I'm just opening this to get my cherry. And then I got a pretzel twist. Was I really tempted to get a hot dog again? Yes, I was, but I didn't do it. I also 
Love getting the mozzarella sticks and the corn dogs. Oh gosh, a corn dog. But we're being good and just having a snack of a pretzel. And then of course I get the cheese. Do you want a bite? You can have a bite if you want. This is making me miss Whitney. Because we would always get Sonic together. We'd get slushies specifically. It's like our thing. Oh my god. I love a pretzel. I really do. Sonic pretzels. Auntie Anne's pretzels. Oh my god. You take me to a mall. Get <clears throat> Auntie Anne's pretzel bites. I get the cheese dip. Okay, whatever. Judge me. With the little Diet Coke. Incredible. Good morning. I tried to sleep in a little today. I'm just so tired. Like it's a little concerning how tired I am. I wanted to make sure I slept enough because I'm supposed to be going to the movies tonight. And knowing me, if I don't get enough sleep, I will get a headache after work and then not be able to go because I don't feel well. So one of the worst feelings is being so sleepy at work and having to hide it. Like literally like bobbing my head in front of the computer screen and having to pretend like everything's fine, like I'm just doing my little job. It's like, no, like I need to take a nap immediately. I feel like I, every once in a while, I just need like a sleep day. A sleep recovery day. I think I overlined my lips. Oops. This is the outfit. Very basic, but I think it does the job. We're home update. I'm like shaking. I don't feel well. Um, not only do I already have a headache, but I just got home to like health insurance mail and it's stressing me out. Um, I was going to go to a movie tonight, but I've had a headache the entire day. You know when I said this morning, I hope I don't have a headache? It's because I felt a headache coming. And so... I just can't do it. I'm gonna take the opportunity to just bed rot today. Um, I think my body's tired and I probably need to listen to it and let it sleep, which always frustrates me because I feel like I just don't have the stamina that like other people do to like live a normal life. I feel like my body needs to take a lot of rest and it's just really frustrating because I want to keep going and I want to live a normal life. Um, but like I physically cannot. And it's just frustrating. But I'm just gonna relax tonight. already back home and going to sleep. Um, I'm so tired. I am hopeful for today though. I'm excited because it's Friday. I think I have the apartment to myself tonight. 
so I'm going to order Chinese food and veg on the couch. I'm so excited. This is, that is my ideal Friday night. It literally, I get, I get giddy. Some people it's going out and like I get that. I'm sure if I had friends and money, going out would be a lot of fun. Um, but staying home, ordering takeout, watching a movie. I'm so excited. I'm going to bed early. Yes, that is going to be my lifeline today. Anytime, anytime I feel like I can't do it anymore, must remember, take out a movie tonight. You know when you get so tired, your eye twitches? That's what my eye has been doing for like the past week. Got the lo mein, rice, crab rangoon, duh. Wow. I dropped some. noon past noon I did sleep in a little bit today but it was not I did sleep in a little bit today but it was not as rewarding as I thought it would be simply because I did have a stomach ache at 3 o'clock in the morning so I didn't sleep through the entire night um, and my stomach still doesn't feel like a hundred percent back to normal it still hurts so don't know why just chooses to do that sometimes more often than I would like I'm about to go to my grandma's house and see my parents I probably won't vlog there because I don't like vlogging in front of my family I like to keep that kind of private but what I the best part about going to my grandma's is stopping by all the antique stores on the way so that's what we're gonna do. I bought myself food. Even though I'm not hungry, I haven't eaten all day, and I feel like I should eat something. I don't know. Like I don't know, I don't know what to do to make my stomach feel better. I'm not gonna eat all of this, but I figured I should have something in my stomach. I did go through the drive-thru and park to eat. I hate doing this. I try not to do this because it makes me feel like a weird little recluse like why can't you just go to the why can't you just eat inside of the restaurant because I want to be in the comfort of my own car you know I did buy some things at the first antique store I went to and there was a lot of things that I wanted to buy so I restrained myself but they had really cute things and I and I messed up I fucked up I bought a necklace and I forgot that I'm on 75 <laughs> hard I forgot I'm not supposed to buy stuff I kind of feel like it's okay though because I think I've realized that like the no buying thing really doesn't apply to me I know I say that I have a shopping addiction but I really do not shop as much as like like if we're playing the comparison game I do not shop as much as these other people like I don't I'm not you know like I've realized that there really are holes in my wardrobe that I would like to fill. It's not that like I have an abundance of clothes and like I don't know what to wear because I have too much to wear. And this necklace, it's so funny because last night I watched Father of the Bride for the first time um, and Diane Keaton was wearing a necklace just like this and I was like, oh my God. I started looking for one immediately on Poshmark and could not find one. And you know what, I, it was meant to be so I don't feel bad about it. I do have some notes about 75 Hard so far. That I'd like to share, not now, but hopefully soon. Yeah, I feel like I've noticed some things. Hello, it is Monday and we're back home from work. So it's been a while since I've vlogged. As soon as I came home yesterday, I just started cleaning because my apartment needed a good clean. I feel like it's been very difficult lately to keep my apartment clean to my standards. So I just needed to give it a good good wash down. I just needed to give it a good wash down and hope that it stays that way for at least a day or two. I'm about to do therapy 
and then right after i'm gonna go to pilates and then i have to eat and shower and get myself ready for tomorrow so those are the plans for today yeah busy busy it feels busy to me it feels like a lot for me to do um even though like this is some people's regular every day i'm wearing the new leotard it's not a leotard what is it jumpsuit onesie that i bought and i don't love it um you know sometimes i think i forget what my body looks like and i think that things are going to look good on me and they do not you know it shows a little too many of my lumps and bumps um i definitely cannot wear it like on its own because i'm afraid i will pop out of it so i'm not happy about it and it's not it's not the it's not the garment's fault you know it's my fault um but yeah i've bought it so now i have to deal with the consequences of wearing it even though i look bad in it hello so before i sign off from this vlog i do want to share my notes so far from 75 style hard 75 hard style it has been a month already and I have found it challenging. Some of the things that I have found challenging is shopping my closet. I think shopping my closet has been difficult because I've pared down my closet so much throughout the years um, to the point where it really is like bare bones. It's bread and butter, which I think is good for me, but kind of leaves out the playfulness and the fun out of it. Um, I think what I'm finding difficult also is that I have a regular job. <laughs> I have a nine to five, I have an office job, so that kind of so that kind of eliminates a lot of styling choices. Okay, so some of my notes are comfort is key. I've realized I value comfort. I don't love that. I don't love that because comfort a lot of times it can be very easily it's a slippery slope from comfort to like looking undone you know not like a fun chic way and just like a messy like bad way some of my values when it comes to styling comfort ease classic chic those are typically like what i'm going for on an everyday basis i'm having a hard time incorporating comfort with like handmade value and with chic so with these like terms and my values i do value comfort i value things that are handmade things that are cozy in a sense and i have a hard time pairing that with something that's like chic and structured and looks put together i wrote down structured yet soft i said fun is not a priority which is true unfortunately and it's sort of in the sense where like sometimes i think i'm one of those people where i need to have like an outfit every day like i wear the same thing every day to eliminate the choices i need to make throughout the day so I can leave my decision making for like more important things because it really I like the ease of it I like the ease of having a formula and knowing it works and not having to put too much effort into styling but at the same time I think people that know how to style I think it is and it is a skill it is a learned skill perhaps it is not a skill that I really have it is not a strong skill that I have and it is not a skill that I really have like the time and the energy to practice. I think I, I love the idea of like putting an outfit together every day, something that's like brand new and just like really innovative, but it takes a lot out of me. It is like an art piece. It is like something that requires a lot of creativity that I just don't, it takes a lot of creativity and a lot of energy and I already don't have a lot of energy to give so sometimes it's easier to just go with a tried and true style and i think that's where like i'm struggling where it's like i know that certain things work for me and i like it but it does become boring for me after a while so i want to do something fun but it's difficult for me and sometimes i wrote down that i'm chasing fun out of a fear of being boring but it doesn't feel natural i think what does feel natural is these like simple outfits but I, I want my outfits to be good I want them to be fun and sometimes they're not good because a fit and I know that's like a very important aspect when it comes to 
simple outfits. It's making sure that things fit properly. And I can't do that. I don't know, with like a lot of things like with my jeans. And I just haven't been able to perfect that. Um, may it be because of money and whatnot. But so the things that I've been trying to just like implement into my everyday styling is trying not to overthink it. Don't overthink it. If I know something works, go for it. Even though I do feel boring, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And then kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. That's kind of been my inspiration these days. I do want to be more playful, but like I said, it's a little difficult with like my job. And then I do feel bad. I feel guilt on weekends where I'm like, I should be dressing more fun. I should be experimenting with the clothes I have. But a lot of times I want, I immediately default to comfort because comfort is so important to me. So yeah, I do want to say that my wish list, my clothing wish list has grown so much from doing this. I am, instead of like shopping my closet and like realizing, oh wow, I have all of these items of clothes that I don't wear, I am instead finding gaps in my wardrobe of things that I wish I had and things that would make my life easier, but I don't have. Some of those things are a classic sneaker. I would love an Adidas sneaker. New Converse. I've had my Converse since the ninth grade. You do the math. Perfect fit jean. I need to invest in a perfect pair, like a, a, a jean that I know looks good on me and is comfortable. And I think this is a triggering thing for me because I've dealt with, you know, I've dealt with body stuff, like who hasn't? And so I feel like I used to have jeans that I loved and that fit me beautifully and I outgrew them. And ever since I outgrew them, I just cannot seem to find a pair of jeans that I like the fit of. They all look terrible on me. And I try to tell myself it's the pant and not me, but it feels like it's me. So I really want to invest in a good pair of pants that look good on me. A black boot, a good heeled black boot. I have the image of one in my brain of what I'm looking for and I just have not been able to find it. But I think this is very important. This is something that I would love to style with the jeans. I think a good heeled black boot with a crisp pair of jeans. So chic. And then also a pair of loafers. I didn't know I needed loafers so much until I style an outfit and I'm like, this would go great with loafers. So many of them. Um, so yeah, those are just a few of the things on my wish list. Um, but there's many, many more. So those are my notes for 75 hard style. I am losing steam. I'm finding it difficult to wear the things that I have and like them. They feel very boring. They feel very stale. I'm having a hard time reimagining them into new things that feel comfortable to me. Um, so yeah, and I do feel like, is it jealousy maybe towards like people that can style things so well? I just wish it could be me, but maybe that's just not a skill I'm going to have. Anyway, that is all for this vlog, and I will see you guys next week.